I thought I'd do something a little different today. I'm not sure how this is going to look on um, your end. Maybe I can do something in um, post to make it look a little bit more clear. So recently I got banned in a box. And what banned in the box is, is it's a software that you can use uh, to make backing tracks to either practice with or even to uh, have a rough draft per se of a song that you might be working the kinks out of and maybe you just need a working demo to iron out some of the rough edges. I've looked around and I haven't seen all that many uh, really good demos on how to get started so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a little walkthrough and see how this works. This asks me Band in the box is a DAW plugin mode, so it's always on top. Continue in DAW plugin mode. I'm selecting yes, and what that means is, in order to make it work in your DAW, there's a little button right here. Go ahead and press that. It says mm -hmm. DAW. Here you can put in your chord progression, and uh, we'll do that real quick. So let's. Just say that we're going to do a really simple 12 bar blues style track. Okay, so we got 12 bars put in. And literally, you can just type in the chord name. So we're going to select it all, copy it, paste it, and let's see, for the last eight bars we'll go ahead and just take that last eight bars of the progression and yeah that's going to be a little repetitive Ooh, hold on i just noticed a little mistake here no biggie we can fix that real quick oh i see what happened Okay, now that you got that out of the way, now we're going to go into this little box here and we're going to pick Style Picker. And once you're in here at the Style Picker, you can hit this arrow right here to the far left. This one's set to Acoustic Blues currently, but we can pick any genre jazz country traditional world styles pop rock blues other um let's go ahead and do some contemporary country let's go ahead and do three guitar country rock and you can demo it right here let's see here And it gives you an idea of what it's going to sound like. And so now that we've selected that as our style, we can hit play, it'll generate. And that is our track. Okay, so now that we have our track, let's go ahead and save our project. And it's going to be the floppy disk with a plus sign on it. Save your current song as bandbox file. We'll just go ahead and call it something like, yeah, well, crap. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it saved on us. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess he'll no. Yeah, I guess he'll just be called Untitled Song. Here's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna open up Cakewalk. 
I'm sorry, you're shooting from this angle, kind of like you're looking over my shoulder. It's kind of get clumsy fingers. So we'll start a basic track. We'll get rid of these two here. So first things first, let's insert our instrument. We're going to pick band in a box. And that's going to be under PG Music Incorporated. Band in the box VST plugin. All right. And we'll go ahead and add a few yeah, audio tracks. So that way we can export. So we'll scooch this out of the way. And there's a little transport view that we need to get popped up. And it's going to be under window. It says floating mixer window. So this has all of your files on it. Open. Okay, quant back up. Grab band in a box and from your mixer right here. We're going to select base, drag it over here, and it produces your base file. And now guitar one. Drums. Okay, this one's going to ask a question. Selecting process logarithm that best suits audio material. Let's go with default. See what happens because not all these tracks are created equal. Some of them produce MIDI tracks and all sorts of stuff. So, Guitar 2. can move some of this stuff out of the way. So let's see which one this one is. And oh by the way, everything starts on measure three always. Alright so having the from getting the uh, sound to pop up. So here's what I'll do when I um, when I do the editing. I'll I'll pipe in what the uh, band in the box actually produced. So let's go ahead and name our tracks. This one's bass. This one here. Acoustic guitar. Let's see what this is. Drums. Hmm. Electric guitar. And you can set this all to uh, mono. 
you so choose. one just a little to the left pan this one just a little to the right this one just to the left a little and the way that this is set up The first two measures is just counting off. So you can chop that off and chunk it. And ah, go away. Pull it up to measure one. Save the progress, and now we're going to process it. Export audio. We'll call it three guitar country. That's an MP3. Let's see here. Let's just go ahead and put it on desktop. And export. And voila. And so uh, we'll go ahead and add in the uh, file at the very end so you can hear what it produced. And that's that's really it. And probably about 15 minutes or so I showed you how to get started on band in the box so if you got anything out of this video watch some other videos of mine and uh, see you next time peace